Hello everyone! In this video we are going to learn how to get started with NLRC Moodle, the online learning platform that you absolutely need for your Finnish studies with us. You have to submit tasks on Moodle and Moodle is also the platform we use for sharing textbooks and audio files. When your manpower agency has given us your details, you will receive an automated email from us. This email has your login credentials, so open your email app or web mail. Then read the message carefully, especially the part that says that do not reply to this automated message. The email has your username and your password. You do not really need the username because you can log in with the same email address where you received this email, but it's handy to know the username regardless, so write it down somewhere. Next, you need your password. The easiest way is to just copy it from the email. There are rare occasions when the automatically generated password has spaces, so make sure you copy those as well. Then it's time to go to Moodle. The link is in the same email. If the link does not work, copy the address from the email to your browser. Once you are on Moodle, enter your email or your username. I'm using the username here, but the email would go through the same field. Then enter the password from the email. I have it copied from the email, so I'll just paste it here. And once you log in for the first time, Moodle asks you to change your password. Make sure you do not use the same password anywhere else. I highly recommend that you use a password manager like KeyPass or Bitwarden. First, type your old password. I can just paste it since I still have it in the clipboard. Then type some super good new password and then tap where it says save changes. You will then land on the dashboard or the front page of Moodle. If this is your first time logging in, Moodle will show you a brief user tour about the interface. Watch those things carefully. You can open the main navigation in the top left to access the course list, the main page and the dashboard. Your user profile is in the top right. You can update your time zone and country there if you want. And when you transition from the beginner's course to actual training, we will also ask you to upload a profile picture, but that is not needed yet. Moodle has a messaging system, but you do not need that in the beginner's course. If you ever want to see these tours again, scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the link to reset the tour on mobile. On desktop, the link is in the gray floating question mark. To find the beginner's course called Kylma Hoid and open the top left menu and choose my courses. Tap on the name of the course to access it. The course itself has a user tour as well. Make sure you go through it and read everything. After the tour, the first step is to read the introduction to the course. The course also has a recommended schedule that will walk you through the content in a similar pace as actual studies. We highly recommend that you follow it. Grades in the beginner's course do not matter, but you can keep track of them here. To navigate, you can either scroll up and down in the main course page, or you can use the index on the left. The beginner's course has a star system for those of you who like uh, internet points. It does not affect your grades, and just like grades, it has no effect on your ability to get into the interview. The star system is explained in detail in the course introduction. After the tour, you can look around. Here is the course index, and then read the introduction. Once you open it, there is one more user tour, and then you can get your Finnish studies started. Happy learning!